Bruce Lee was one of my idols, uh, mainly because of his mental stability, because of his fighting spirit, because it was more mental than just physical. For him, it was like what he called emotional content. Emotional content. And for me, that's when I succeeded. But I had to face major obstacles and major opponents like Tommy Hearns, Bill Duran, Marvin Hagler. Because of my mental stability, I was able to beat those guys. Without question, Bruce Lee uh, relates to athletes of all kind, of every kind, because it's all about having everything in sync to perform at the, at the, uh, at the highest. Uh, it all ties in together that you must, your mind, your body, your spirit must all connect to get the best results. Bruce was an example of what materialized from hard work and there were no boundaries, there was no racial barriers, there was nothing. He could generate so much speed and velocity in his punches, um, short punches that he used his body and, his, and his, um, the type of leverage he was able to gain because he knew, he understood the mechanics of the body. His smoothness, I mean, he was gliding, he would glide, and it was not, he was not methodical. He was very um, spontaneous in his movement. And everything he did was for a reason. He just didn't move to just be cute. He moved for a reason, to get in line, to get in position, to throw something, to position himself. Everything was for a reason. He had such an ability to outperform anyone. No matter what size, no matter how strong, Bruce Lee always had a way. And he did it with style. That's why I love that. He did it with style.